A common issue when taking photos of clothing is shadowing. Shadows on clothing must have reasonable brightness and darkness. The shadow on this collar is too bright. The shadow on this collar is too dark. This shadow stretches reasonably and has suitable brightness and darkness. If part of the image you would like to publish is too light, too dark, or has an imperfection, you can use the clone stamp tool within Adobe Photoshop to retouch the image. Step one involves opening the image in Adobe Photoshop. Activate Adobe Photoshop on your computer and open the image you need to retouch by selecting the File drop-down menu, clicking the Open button and searching for where the image is stored. Step two involves zooming in on the problem area. Select the Zoom tool, which is one of the last tools in the Photoshop toolbar on the left. The shortcut to access this tool is Shift plus Z. Move the cursor into the problem area and click the left button on your mouse or trackpad to zoom in so the problem area fills the screen. Step 3 involves activating the clone stamp tool. Select the clone stamp tool from the toolbar on the left. Step 4 involves working with the clone stamp tool. Hover your cursor over the area that you would like to sample. Note that you can adjust the size of the sample area with the square bracket keys on the keyboard. The open square bracket makes the sample area smaller. The closed square bracket increases its size. Step 5 involves capturing the sample. To capture the sample, click and hold the Alt key on a Windows-based keyboard or the Option key on a Mac. This will convert the cursor into crosshairs to help you target the sample area. When you are ready to capture the sample, click the left button on your mouse or trackpad, then let go of the Alt or Option key. Step 6 involves painting with the sample texture. Now that you have captured the sample area, you can paint over the faulty areas by clicking the left button of your mouse or trackpad and moving the cursor until you have the result you desire. Note that you can capture samples of good texture and paint with it by repeating steps five and six until you get the best results.